Welcome guys to yet another challenge. This time it's all about rejection therapy. Again, because this is the seventh week that I've been doing this and the result is incredible. The idea is to design a question or request that will put us in harm's way for rejection. Expose ourselves naked, being vulnerable. We do this not only to get used to rejection so we can go after the things we want in life, but also to build self-esteem. That's why the rules are no lying and the things you are asking for should align with your values, beliefs and goals. If you want to hear all about this, make sure to look through this video. Ni hao. Uh, do you speak English? No English? I don't know. You don't know? Ah, you speak English. <laughs> do, do you think you could say rejection therapy to me? Uh, uh, rejection therapy? Uh, yeah. Can you repeat that, all of you? Huh? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> could you repeat rejection? Therapy? Uh -huh. uh, can you say that? <laughs> so, rejection therapy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. you 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 say rejection therapy. Huh? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. Ah. <laughs> What a beautiful day to start off this rejection therapy challenge. Once again, if you are all new to this, because this is my seventh week doing this, but if you are all new to this, let me decide, dis explain it in a very condensed way. You are doing this little thing, coming up with a question or request. It could, for instance, be approaching a girl and asking for her number or just telling her she's cute and see where that goes. It is quite likely that you will get rejected, but it also are possibilities for awesome things to happen. That's the beauty of this. It's a win-win thing. Either you get rejected and you get used to that. We want to desensitize ourselves to, to that no, to the fear of being turned down, but also we are doing things, designing questions or requests that is something that we believe in, or something we want to have happen, or just something that makes us happy. Because all those things builds our self-esteem up. Because that is what I am all about, that is what this channel is all about. Excuse me, Hi. do you speak English? Mm, a little bit. A little bit? Oh, yeah. I wonder if you would like to say a, a sentence for me for my video yeah. it's it, yeah like a, it's time for rejection therapy Re rejection therapy exactly would you like to say that in the camera for me ah uh, if i can i shoot you no no i i, I shoot you and you say rejection therapy rejection rejection therapy Re repeat Rejection therapy. Huh? Do rejection therapy. Uh, huh? No. Okay? No? Not? Okay. It's okay. Thank you, anyways. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> bye bye. The possibilities here are endless. So just sitting down and thinking about all the things that scares you, but you would like to do it's quite a tickling tick what do you say when someone is feeling to just go nuts with those thoughts and then to actually go through with them 
Well, then it comes to the hard part, then it comes to the anxiety type part. But that's prior actually doing it. It's, it's like a great, great wall here. Here's before doing this request and action, and here's after. And when you're able to penetrate through this, this wall, because believe me, it's a thick, thick wall. When you are able to penetrate there, oh boy, the reward is so, so amazing. Of course, depending on what you're doing, but it's all on, a, on the individual level. What, what is hard for you may be super easy to another person. That's also why it's important to constantly escalate your challenges. In the beginning when I did this, they were maybe mostly about the approach that was so awful for me. Well, it's still very awful. For instance, I've been practicing a lot on approaching girls. Now I'm more likely to, to do the approach more rapidly and more efficient way. So I need to up my game there. I need to increase my level of difficulty. So this is all about you finding a suitable level and then go out and do it. Excuse me. Mihal, yeah. do you speak English? Mm -hmm. uh, English? No? No. <laughs> uh, you think you could say uh, it's time for uh, rejection therapy? Uh, like repeat, rejection therapy? No? Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Ha have a lovely day. <laughs> it's hard to do rejection therapy when the, the language barrier is too high. The self-esteem building is incredible. That is something that can't be emphasized enough how important that is to you because we are doing this every other week in alignment with the focus of building self-esteem with the help of a book called The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem. So there are six pillars where we go through how you build your self-esteem and then we have these practices practical application weeks where we do the rejection therapy challenge when the real building is happening and together that's been a tool for me that has transformed my life I'm a different person since I started doing this and it's it's so fun it has tremendous capacity in what what is what is created the great moments you have with these random people you connect with uh, I just can't help to shake that smile off my face with, as a result of talking to those four ladies <laughs> believe me it wasn't the first time i left the situation with a smile on my face you just have to experience it on your own and if you are a person with low self-esteem if you are a person that let fear dictate your life just do it just do this don't overcomplicate things rather have smaller things and do them more often than big grandiosa things that you do once a week just do it just start approach and see where it takes you running one marathon for four hours sure that's a good exercise for you well, maybe it will like to kill you but it will not create a long-lasting habit and that's what we this channel is all about finding ways to build up habits that will progressively build you up that's how you will create a sustainable change we do these challenges like one every day to have small things every day you could do it all in one day but then you will lose some of the big effect of it and i've tried both methods and i can really feel that when i do it throughout the week it's like whoa this week is amazing and when i do it all in one day it's like yeah that was an awesome day but then you fall back into the old pattern throughout the week so again let me just emphasize do this challenge one challenge every day for a week and that is also the objectives of this week five challenges design the questions or requests with something that aligns with your values beliefs or goals and then go out there and do it just do it just start the one rule is that you can't lie if you lie you decrease your self-esteem and that is the opposite of what we are aiming for journal keep a reflective journal write down what happened how did you act why did you act the way you did how can you prove how can you make sure you are actually growing as a person super important tool for personal development with those words 
I'm gonna close this chapter down. Well, I'm gonna open this chapter up, but I'm gonna close this video down and continue my run because this was actually an excuse for pausing my little morning jog here. And also, I want to be able to see again. I let the sun straight into my eyes, but that's my own fault. I have to take responsibility. I'm losing it. Thank you for watching. See you in the week. Bye, guys. And also, of course, subscribe if you haven't already so you can get more. I think that was the best rejection ever. <laughs> they did not understand me one tiny bit, but it was great fun. An awesome 10 km run is over. I did some awesome rejection therapy challenges. Brought my mood up in such a tremendous way. And nothing can go wrong with this day now. Even if it did, 